the way through the fall. Yep. This set is priced again at an amazing price. Six plants for well under $50. In fact, it's under 40. Jeez. And these are colors wow. of daylilies that I had never seen before. Well, you're not gonna find these. These are very hard to find. What we did was we went out and we put together a collection of daylilies that gives you fragrance. Which most daylilies are, it's less than 1% of daylilies are fragrant. Right, right. So we found the ones that have fragrance. We found the ones that have the biggest blossoms up to six inches. Okay. And the ones that bloom continuously. Yeah, so, cool. you know, so this, this collection here is, is, a, is a gardener's dream because this is the easiest plant, but not having the same boring ones, right. Dan. It's like having, it's like, it's like stumbling upon some new daylily candy. You okay. Know? Now I have to ask you, because you're a horticulturist. You're, yes. you're a trained specialist. Out of Chicago, you work with one of the biggest botanical gardens in the world. Yes. As just a regular gardener guy, me, are yes. horticulturists as competitive as gardeners? Uh, yes, we are. About, <laughs> about finding the best plants and using them? <laughs> yes, we are. There's round midnight, and yeah. that's one of the ones that you want to celebrate. Because look at that eye. That's the one that your neighbors have that. never seen before. They, they've never seen it, and when they see it, they're going to go nuts. They're going to figure out, try to figure out what it is because the flower is so dark and it has that brilliant eye on it. And they come back uh, year after year after year. Year after, bigger and better year okay. after year. More and more blooms every year. Now, there's huckleberry candy, uh -huh. and that's also because it has that little purplish eye, purplish ring around the yellow eye. So it's kind of like an apricot peachy color and then it, and it's so textured Dan I mean the old day ladies you're talking about were just so plain but this one is three-dimensional it's got texture it's got frills it's got all these wonderful things going on right there so I really love that one Look and then that. the last one is Scottish fantasy and that one is sort of a mauvish sort of a red but that eye pulls them all together and if you notice all three of them have a similar eye so okay. while the colors are contrasting the eyes are all similar so they work very well together in the bed what type of height can I anticipate because I remember the daylilies growing in my backyard in Indiana yeah they got really leggy really leggy and, and tall they, and nasty looking yes, by they, the end of the season they became eyesores instead of beauty. Thank, thank you for pointing that out. That's one, that's another reason that we wanted to get these. They're compact. Okay. So these are going to stay three feet or less and, and that way they'll stay nice and neat and notice if you can see as they're panning across uh -huh. them right now, what you notice is flowers and then dozens of buds. Buds everywhere. Here's yeah. some buds. Here's some buds tucked down here. It, it buds, the size buds. of a pickle. Buds, yes. So you're going to have blooms continuously over and over all throughout the season. Now, here's the one thing people can't tell because it's television. Right. But we're standing in front of daylilies. Mm -hmm. They're fragrant. Yeah, we need that smell of vision, don't we? But, but <laughs> when I grew up, daylilies had no fragrance. They had no fragrance, but they've been bred to have now some fragrance. And these ones in particular. So and it's light. And airy, it's not overpowering. It's not an overpowering scent. It's a, it's a, it's a pleasant scent. Sweet. It's a sweet, pleasant scent. And I'm going to tell you how you can even do, um, get more use out of them. Beautiful. Cut the flower when it's open. The first thing in the morning. Okay. Float it in a bowl. Put it on your breakfast table or your lunch table, whatever. All right. And then people can see the size and smell it. Nice. And all of that right there. That's the best way to actually get the scent. You don't want to cut the whole stalk because you got so many flowers on right. there. Just cut the single flower, float it in a nice, beautiful bowl on the I table, and you can't beat that. And you, you will have flowers that begin early summer and will take you all the way through the fall. Yep. These are, again, you'll hear the phrase, these aren't your grandmoms, whatever <laughs> they are. They not. are. This they isn't are not. mom's old whatever they happen to be. This is the new evolution of the science of cottage farms and they do all the work for you. Yep. This is what will be shipped to you. Let's show how to plant. E even, even if you can't tell upside down from right <laughs> side up, Right. You, you can't <laughs> screw this up. No, it's you not can't. possible. Green goes up, yeah. roots go down. It's as simple as that. There's very little digging. Uh, they are phenomenally easy to grow. Yes, they are. They, day lilies, want to thrive. That's why so many Department of Motor Vehicles and, and <laughs> states use them to line highways with. All, all on the highways, you see them everywhere. But they're the same boring orange mm -hmm. daylilies. Mm -hmm. Not when we talk about cottage farms. So, you get colors you've never seen before. So Dan, we don't want to tell everybody this because we, we want everybody to do everything the right way. Okay. But this plant is so indestructible. You could take this root and lay it on top of the ground right now with the snow going on. Right. It would melt down through the snow root and start growing <laughs> <laughs> in the springtime. We don't want to tell people that, but that, that's how easy it is, you know. Uh, but, but if you give it the, the right start and you put it in there, you'll have plenty of flowers this year. So for the individual flowers. who is just starting this passion for gardening, 
just begin that round midnight again this would be the choice for them right this is the choice if, if you're just starting and you're not sure of yourself you don't have the time to put into gardening or all that but you want beauty day lilies can't be beat because they're so easy you're not going to kill them you're not going to kill them you can roll over them with the car. You may slow them <laughs> down, but you're not going to kill them. There's huckleberry candy. You can see the, the, the really distinctive purple ring around there. They look painted. They do, and that's what makes it stand out so many. And then when you see the interior of the flower, when you see inside there and see the ruffles and the frills, you just don't get that in a common daylily flower. It's really kind of dull and boring. And those same ruffles and frills are in the Scottish fantasy. So compared to those old dull ones, these have not only color, they have texture, and most importantly, fragrance. Uh, and again, it is such a small percentage of any of the daylilies grown worldwide right. that are fragrant. Right. So you're going to get bigger blooms, more right. of them, more right. often, mm -hmm. and easy to care for. The these size. are brand new today. You, you are known for your daylilies, yes, but are. you don't bring us a lot of different varieties. So don't f look for a whole bunch of different item numbers for daylilies. Right. Pick these up while you have an opportunity. Already several hundred of you have picked them up this morning. And it's right now about 24 minutes after 6 a.m. <laughs> on a snowy <laughs> Tuesday. It's the perfect time to start planting that spring and summer garden. And if you got the roses, these are the perfect compliments to them. Nice. Coming <laughs> up, I love plants you can eat. We're gonna show you something brand new. Now, every plant, like every human being, has their favorite food. Yep. And you have the perfect food for everything. This is your bud and flower booster fertilizer packs, which would be perfect for those daylilies. And a $42.50 price tag will take you through the entire summer. It will, Easily. and that, that's our general flower booster. Feel free to use this indoors as well. Those indoor house plants need some love too. Now, we're going to put up the zone map with the understanding that you don't need to know what zone you live in. Right. What these folks do amazingly well is not only help Mother Nature